was going on. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? Where am I? It's Alexander Hilly123 here, and it's time for my Akumu walkthrough. Where are you? An evil event. And of course, you're not going to need syringes during your Akumu playthrough. Um, because one hit kills you, so there's no point. But considering the fact that we're limping at the start, and on other modes of the game, when your health goes low, you limp and you're slower. We may as well take that syringe anyway, just to get us out of that state. So there's two bottles of green goo there. Sometimes there is a match around here. But if you do take it, there won't be a match a little later. So it's not like you're gaining an additional match because you're not. You're just getting it from a different place, basically. Now, of course, as we all know, we've got the outrageous level 1 stamina. I'm going to be upgrading for the first time at the start of chapter 4. And I honestly think that's when you should upgrade for the first time. Even if it's your first Akumu playthrough. You're not really going to gain much from upgrading on chapters 2 and 3. Trust me. It's the perfect time to do it. So imagine if it is your second playthrough of the game and you've just completed it on survival and you go on Akumu straight away, one hit kills you. The last thing you want to be doing is elementary mistakes. And a lot of people think that this part here you've got to shoot Connolly, but you don't have to. Chapter 2 game, but it is pretty damn tricky. Um, you don't want to be wasting your bullets when you don't have to. So if you want, you can just run away from Connolly and keep all your bullets. Because of course we don't have matches yet. And most people go for headshots and headshots are not great on this game. Thus they lose all their ammo. And before you know it, for the difficult part coming up, they have no bullets whatsoever. So <laughs> just keep them all. Hurts! Hurts! Whoa. Were you warning me about this? You were Leslie, right? I'm a police officer. Maybe I should help you. Should help you? Shit. How am I going to get you to a hospital? Hospital. 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 Hospital! What the fuck? Leslie with us, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Trap parts. They are for the Agony Crossbow. It's the first time I ever played this game. I thought that would suck. But it doesn't. It's awesome. And sometimes here you can get one match or two matches. And it can make all the difference because early on in the game you've got so little things to go on that you need all the help you can get. And we've got two, which is good. Just basically showing us that we can go through mirrors in the game to go back to the hospital. Like that bit of green goo. Now, like I said, there are absolutely no guarantees that I won't die here. This is not the be all and end all walkthrough where I know every single thing about this game. And another thing is, with this game, it's very hard to do a walkthrough or tell people what's going to happen because the AI is absolutely insane on this game and sometimes the enemies will just decide that they're gonna do something you've never seen them do before <laughs> which is fun when you love the game as much as I do and you've played it so many times but if you're just trying to get the Akuma achievement then it can be quite frustrating indeed There's our first key. But yeah, the last time I did Akuma, I died four times on Chapter 2 because you know shotgun, you know crossbow, you've not many matches. The enemies run faster than Usain Bolt. It can be tricky. Now, what I do here with these two first guys 
is I forget the bottles. I don't bother with them. Whatsoever. But they're already looking at you. And as you can see, it does not take them long to see you. But that's the first one burnt. And there's a second one burnt. Just because the enemies are on fire on this game does not mean that they can't get you. They still can. And I've gotten lucky though. Four bullets. That is really nice. But yeah, sometimes if it's not on a Kumu, because they don't notice you as well. If you turn your lantern on so they can see you easier, then run around here. Watching your stamina at all times. Always keep watching your stamina. And then burn the hair. Fingers on casual and survival. They do not notice you half as easier, easily, I should say. So, <laughs> just bear that in mind. We've got five matches now. And without upgrades, that's the most that we can get right now. So the next part... So, so early on in the game is very, very tricky indeed. I would not be surprised if I die here. And there are a number of ways of going about this. Um, first of all, I'm going to try this slow way, which is waiting for this guy with the torch to go past. And I've said on stream while streaming this game on, on Twitch uh, that this guy here could hear a pin drop from a thousand miles away. Believe me, he can. So you want to make your move now. And then go now that he turns to the right hand side. Get this motherfucker's torch. But unfortunately on Akumu, it's fine margins and I can now decide whether I want to torch that guy with the torch or I might let him see me and burn the hair with a match, thus I'll still have two torches. I think I might do that. But you see, I'm, I'm changing my strats up for this video. But we'll just try it and see what happens. The other guy's noticed me as well. But he's gone. I'm just going to grab this in case and I am going to need it possibly. No, I'm not. That's excellent. That's good. So that's two of them burnt with one match on the hair. There's no other enemies in sight. So now, I don't know if they've dropped any loot here. They have, well, they haven't actually. But now I have two matches. I'm going to let these guys see me. This could easily go wrong, by the way. It's just the way it is. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I nearly died there. I nearly got his mate. No, he's felt. No. Losing ammo. You see how that guy gets back up? That's bullshit. I thought there was another torch, but obviously not. As you can see, shooting these motherfuckers in the leg is the way to go. Forget headshots. Now I'm in trouble, big time. I'm going to try and lure him into this trap. This is all very nip and tuck, ladies and gentlemen, believe me. I think he's going to run into this. I've no ammo, as you can see. So this is called a walkthrough. A playthrough. Sorry, a walkthrough, yeah. So it's very hard to do a walkthrough of this game. But that's why I love it. There's the torch on the floor. Especially on Akumu, because the enemies are coming at you so fast. You've no time to think. No, I've no ammo. And I really need ammo. 
quite random. Here's some. Two bullets. Okay then. <laughs> Every chance I could still die here. Um, I believe around here. There might be another enemy or two. But basically, like I said, shoot them in the legs. That's the easiest way they go down. Followed up by a quick match burn. Don't get too close to them. Crouching helps when burning them as well. It helps me anyway. But I could have easily died there. What I wanted to happen was the two guys in the burr trap. I disarm the first one. And then I let the first guy see me. He goes in the trap. Then his mate comes. Sometimes he can go in another trap as well, but it won't always happen. If it does, then you have the ability to burn two of them with one match. That is what you want, but it's easier said than done. But basically, there are two guys lying down here. There's one to the left, there's one to the right. Once I burn these two fellas here, um, there's another one that gets up. And to be honest, it's all very risky. I'm just going to let this fella turn around. There's my match, uh, sorry, my torch. I might need it, but on a Kumu, it's 50 50. Can you strike them before they kill you? It's not guaranteed that you will, really. But if you crouch and then press A, you can still kill that motherfucker. I think he's dropped ammo, but. Yep, there we go. It's worked out nicely. Sure, I saw an ammo drop. Didn't I? I certainly did. Two bullets. Nice one. Now, there are more trap parts around here. There's a few burr traps and there's some more green goo as well. He's right past that window. Yeah, there's the green goo. Oh, he's walking past. There he is. I'm not going to bother with the burr traps. But I can promise you guys they're around this area here. I might actually get one of them. There's one of them. Okay, let's get both. <laughs> because believe me, getting the trap parts is absolutely vital on a Kumu. Because on this game, the bombs that you have to disarm... On a casual in survival, they're very easy. On Nightmare, they're harder. On a Kumu, they're close to impossible. And obviously, if you get it wrong, you'll die instantly. If you don't, you will get the trap parts, but you'll die more often than not. Well, that is Chapter 2 done. A very, very small area, but an area in which so much can go wrong. And it's like I said before, this is called a walkthrough, but it's very hard to replicate what I just did. It wasn't perfect by any means, but the burr trap trick, that's hard to say, uh, the burr trap trick is very good. And as long as you have your matches and a torch, then you have the ability to burn them whilst they're in the burr trap, because they will escape from the burr trap after a few more seconds of being in it, you see. Um... But I nearly got hit a few times. That's the risk you're going to take on a Kumu. It's as simple as that. But it worked. You can use the bottles to distract them as well. But you've got to be careful with that. It doesn't always work the way you want it to. And go out on the outside here. You'll only notice you once you're past, basically. Shit. Better get out of here. And you don't need to run to the end, you can just jump down here. <laughs> and there we have it. 
Also, try and utilise the traps, not the burr traps, but the, the wire traps. Although, a lot of people will probably run into the traps and die because you've got to crouch. But of course, by crouching and avoiding the trap, you're going slower, the enemies run very fast. You've got to get used to it, it's a knack of timing, really. But I'm pretty happy with that. To get through Chapter 2 on Akumi without dying once is not easy. And I'm also happy with my decision not to use the torch on the guy with a torch because you may as well um, keep both torches. Because axes, torches on this game, you only get one usage of them and then they're gone. But they kill enemies in one hit, so they're very, very important indeed. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next part, Chapter 3, which will be a very short chapter indeed, involving the Suicide Strats. See you then.